Welcome back to the channel, I'm OP, and in today's episode, we will be going over some of the best highlights between BLG and NIP during the upper bracket round one phase of the LPL 2024 Spring Playoffs. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. Knight takes two tower shots to try and get his ball in a good spot, and Shanji just ults out. He's like, all right, I'm out of here, boys. See you later. In the meantime, NIP will start that Drake off as well, so... Bit overforced, honestly, on the top side. Maybe, and now you have a gold card in River Shun. You've got to be careful. You oh, think he's gone back no. to base? They thought Shanji had just run away. Shanji's setting up a play elsewhere. Rookie, no, Shanji will pick up first blood in the river on Shun. Oh, Shanji, what a play. He doesn't teleport back in the lane. Of course, you can tell that he's teleporting away. It's the big thing. Yeah. So Shanji gets a freebie, and now we have ourselves a 4v3 in bot side. 4v4, <laughs> rather. This is more like it. BLG are like, right, we lost one play time to kick things off. Diving in the bottom side, Fotic goes down, doesn't even get to use his flash from that combo. Look how many minions are dying to the tower. It's already almost a 20 CS lead, plus all of those are going to go down. This is Fotic being set very far behind. Aki tries to go in, but just gets destroyed by BLG. And this happens as, oh god, Rookie very nearly claiming back another. That happened over two control wards and a vision ward down in the bottom side of the jungle for NIP. NIP, Lethality Callista. Does himself opportunity. Oh, on the bottom side of the map, what can you find? Elk stays, but this is 3v2. Aki's behind them right now. Opportunity in the inventory of Elk. So he is strong at this point on the target, though. Aki just ignores Elk entirely and looks for the support. Bailout's in play. Votix so chunked. It's not quite enough, but my god, that was close. Yeah, this is the thing about the Callista. Less extended damage, incredible burst. Very nearly takes down Votix with him. Um, as on goes down, not but playing it, with a great deal of vision though. They don't know where Shun is, and he has level six. That's a problem. He has himself a sundered sky. That's another problem. Yeah. So he's going to have himself a lot of damage, a lot of ability to lock to turn someone down. NIP, they need to buy themselves away into this river if they want to fight. But they're going to be able to do so, and indeed they're not. They get themselves a bit of wave clear, well, vision clear after this point. They might get forced onto it. Oh, rookie, good combo onto Elk here. He's the target, and he's taken down, but no, the bailout saves him. Aki Falls is now diving for more. Shun sets up onto Fotic, punts him back, and sets it up for the second. And here we go, a bit more blood in the water. The rookie gets off a vision for that first play. Knight bails out his AD carry, though, so both of these mid laners making their impact felled. They don't, can't find themselves and engage, though, before the objective goes down. Some which happens to NIP sometimes. They can struggle to find themselves a fight when they're not on the objective first. They kind of just spectate it going down. Here comes on. On with the flash handshake. Aki served up on a silver plate, but no. He's fallen off the table, Cutlery's everywhere, and suddenly On's the one in trouble! The combo from Rookie just one-shots him. This way does so much damage, and this is why, in this kind of game, you look at the Lethality Callista and you look at the way on the other side and go, hmm. Yeah, I can understand why suddenly standing even within just the screen's distance of them can be very bad for my short-term uh, health as um, both are very, very bursty. However, Rookie needs to be very, very careful of that fog of war. Comes out of it, and here comes Shun. He's the target. Shun takes down his old teacher here alongside his new mid laner in Knight. Fantastic little combo and kind of a bit of revenge for the pick. Rookie's the Rookie's going over to the side of uh, BLG. Thing yep. is though, what's the cross map from NIP? They're looking to catch out Knight on the side lane with the hex gates. Has flash available, has TP, should he get an angle, but that's going to be the ult coming through from Shanshi as well. No way out of this one, Knight. Just going to be burst on down. Shockwave even fizzles at the end. It doesn't even go on cooldown. A bit disrespectful actually from Knight. Um, you know, there's no contest coming on the bot side. You have incredible vision around mid lane and towards that dragon as well. There's only one place they can be process elimination. It's top lane, and the hex gates on the map make it even easier for them to arrive at that field. Very confident going towards this, and Knight continuing to use that wrecking ball. Just have to wonder when that shockwave will come out. I don't know what it is, but when surprising chunks of damage happen, it, makes, it turns me into <laughs> like an old pensioner. <laughs> start whooping at the screen like a maniac. I don't know what's wrong with me. Yeah, Oriana, kick the ball! <laughs> oh, yeah, here we go. Shanji TP in behind enemy lines here. Doesn't really find the pick that they're looking for. This is going to be Drake for BLG. And NIP, kind of a lackluster attempt at finding that. Uh, NIP, it's not been... Oh, I have to see if Elshan goes for the engage. Oh. He's looking for it. Going forwards as well. NIP, got to be careful. 
then could oh Quan's just gonna dive forwards and handshake to start it. Rookie the target. CC him taken down. Now a shockwave onto two as well as Knight is the carry. Elk was kicked out of the play and it doesn't even matter. On hits the off switch on Rookie's life and takes down the enemy mid laner. This is gonna open up the Baron. NIP cannot afford to lose this one and bin soloing about Aki. This is looking like an MVP performance from on so far for me. He's been stellar on this Renata. Shanji with the gold card wants to set up a play, but like you say, Aki can't even be a part of this one. He's not even near the pit. He might even go down to pit on the side as Baron is taken. And now Aki the target as they start to look for more. BLG, we saw them chase down just a moment ago. They're going to try and make it happen again. Bin setting things up, looking for the knock-up. That's a flash burn. As Votix has been found, shut diving into the rookie. TP comes through. Rookie re-enters the fight, and the bailout isn't enough. Even Rek'Sai can't dive that deep. Yeah, Rookie comes back with the help of his team. They uh, they end up winning that gamble. Turns out NIP, they do have TP some fun. in for a flank on this team. Absolutely uh, nobody. And it, honestly, if you've got the Twisted Fate, you're using their ult. The ult's not up right now either. Um, so, Shun on the flank once again. He is going to be spotted on vision. NIP, they cannot walk into Fog of War easily. No one can face check. Um, you know, the Renata ult plus the off shockwave. And now they're getting Ren stacks on the dragon. NIP, you cannot let this go for free. And Shake lands onto Chuo. The tidal wave comes out immediately. Does survive as Aki's over the wall. It's not enough. He doesn't find it. And the ultimate from Shun denies Aki's own. Four players remain for NIP. But Bin doesn't want that fact to be true for long. Dives into the action as Votix engaged by Shun. Shockwaves the Sombrero. Coming out from Knight. He's fancying tacos tonight. As Elk steps forward again. It's a long old scrap as the spiraling despair comes through. On could be in trouble here. Big damage across the team, but <laughs> just nobody's going down. Not just yet. They're trying NIP to fight fight back as best they can with a lot of those ultimates being down. They do get themselves a tower in the mid lane, but still, Botic! <laughs> Traded a bit. As I against the uh, the Poppy Ren. Aki has been controlled remarkably well from BLG this entire game, from early game and elsewhere, and Shanji now potentially in a 1v2 on the side lane. Yeah, doing his best to outspace this one, but he can't outspace that. Knight takes it yeah. down for 400 gold, 8 to 5 on the scoreboard. The uh, solo laners of BLG deal Twisted Fate, the dead man's hand as he goes down in side lane, 1v2. Um, really hasn't been top draw of the deck from him this game. He has had a good laning phase. He's actually gone for a different build. He went for the Kraken Slayer on the Rage Play. Didn't talk about that that much. It's not been that important. BLG, they are not stopping at all, though. Going towards the Baron. NIP, one last gas. Another Ren Steel has to be faced against. Aki was the hero smiter in the series against WE. He was the one that got that Elder Dragon and kept NIP in playoffs. Might just look for it again. The ult goes wide, and the hostile takeover denies any such play from existence. BLG, they make it look easy to control, as you worded it, over the enemy jungler has been immaculate. I don't even think Aki has played that badly. I think BLG no. have just been so prepared for him. They've had him warded out in his early game. They have. In the way that you usually expect from the amount of pressure he's still putting out, despite this matchup, has been kind of insane to watch. And I don't know if BLG can actually end right here. Maybe just wait for the next wave before they continue this siege. Unfortunately, couldn't get the artillery position set up for their cannon this time. But they will be able to just walk this in on the next wave. NIP struggling to clear these Baron minions and on stepping forwards. Rookie chunked there. Ah, the old Chunk gets out with his life. BLG can just keep going forwards. The six groups pay off. The Void might come out. It's entirely wave across the team, but it doesn't seem to really matter much. They need oh! the tsunami! And that's the shockwave flying on in BLG. And Knight specifically make it look beautiful as they finish out game number one. Oh, Knight has been spiking that ball into the enemy core. So that's how it's going to be. So. Yasuo versus Tristana, that's a pretty intricate matchup in mid lane as well because of the mobility of Yasuo on the minion wave and then also his wind wall. And this is now an interesting answer from NIP because we saw that BLG took the Tristana so NIP couldn't lock in the, the, the aura just... skill that can help with that. You know, stuff like gangplank barrels in an abstract way it can be a frontline because no one wants to walk into the gangplank barrels. Something like this though, lands him forwards, here comes the flash. Flash from Elk immediately on, has his own, but W's the opposite direction here. Flayed back, then flashes and dashes away, but still taken down. First blood 
in the hands of Drop. Now oh, he actually getting all in, in the lane as well. The bomb is already down. Level six not hit for Rookie and Knight. Buster shots him away. Oh, that was clutch from yes. Knight. Real. How many? Rec how many? <laughs> how, how many? Yeah. How many dentists recommend that one? Is that the one out of ten dentist recommendation? Anyway, Malco's going down. Here's the lantern. Can it save him? I don't think it oh, can. Oh no! The lantern. It's sort of in the wrong direction, to be honest. And Drop is walking the wrong side of the lane. I almost baited Fotic as uh, comes now the combo. comes in as the counter engage from the side of NIP. And the rest of the gang is here. Moon, Breath, and Shun gets the brunt of it. Regretting that mouthwash starting the day. The yeah, objectives it's... went away from them in that last game. Sadly for BLG, their mid laner Knight, who was so active in the last game, in the early game, can't get to the play first this time. Means they didn't They're... die to the Moonfall, right? So they can go Buzz Aldrin on this one. I don't anyway, back to know how to use that one. Well, <laughs> looks like BLG are trying not to eat Moon Rocks with this combo. They're avoiding the Dana and going straight onto Shanji oh, no. with a double bop. Yeah, what can you do? Shanji Finn even slides in to just steal the kill at the last second. However, Arn has been found on the top side of the map. So two catches simultaneously. Okay, so NIP continually uh, keeping themselves up in kill participation. Not want to face up into this combo. What BLG realistically need to do need is to still do damage. Dragon started up. It's not like there's a Callista for a run this time. We could be going for a flip, but if you give that flip, Botic starts to get excited. BLG moving behind everyone. The flame choppers down and Shun just caught out. Forced to flash. The equalizer still burns him though as the moonfall goes in. NIP absolute chaos on the rift. BLG torn asunder, but Bin finds one. Elk still going as Rookie and Shanji are there to cut him down. Bin in a 1v2 against the NIP solo laners and he knows he's got no shot. NIP take the third drake. BLG venture into the dark and they find a death sentence waiting for them. Troll's Hook is what really ends up winning this fight for NIP. I can understand why, but you can see what NIP are bringing to the table here. Great to see having this presence on potentially caught out. He is on Rakan. You can never really quite catch Rakan out and instead turns it into an engage as Knight jumps into the action. Buster shot though, and the moon breath lands once more. On goes down, but Rookie is low. Elk survives and he takes one with him. Rookie to fall. This is 4v4, but Shun can't escape. There's so much flying at him. It's debris. As the shuttle leaves the station, an explosion says NIP head to the Baron. Oh uh, yeah, Houston, we have a problem. There's a lot of very dangerous people on the other side. BLG, they do not have the vision control. They do not have the safety. They don't have the tank to survive this combo. They're teleporting in for one last gasp as Knight is here. Knight trying to make it happen. Bin on the flank as well. Don't commit to the play in the end. Fotik is searching for this Aatrox on Bin. He's yeah, well It's a battle rumble. You're not there just to burn people down with maximum um, damage over time and, and AP scalings and whatever. He goes towards the Randuins a little later into his build, and we do see a pick onto Aki. Damage onto Aki goes for the Moonfall, but there's no combo there. And now Bin arrives on the scene. Aki is caught out with 17 seconds until Drake comes up. Aki's got nowhere to go, and he will go down. Shun finds Shanji on top of it as well. The combo is there. Shun, you gotta survive this one. They need you for this. Oh, the rocket! The rocket's in! And Shanji lives through as Fotik on the resets the lantern to get him out. Safety death sentence swipes as Rookie finds Elk, but Elk flashes away. Fotik now getting the rockets out. Elk corralled by NIP as Rookie closes the the distance, but Elk slides out the bottom side of the play. NIP somehow still in it. We are recalculating our flight paths in this one. Elk, he might have found himself into a bit of an asteroid field. It's a hex flash into death. He will skate no more. BLG, they do find the Diana. That's an important part. You don't see the big, big wombo coming. Bit of Morse code coming out. NIP saying, save our Dragon Souls. BLG showing that they are. Oh, we're back in the live, folks. Oh, it's all kicking off and suddenly it's voting. I don't know how this happened, but the moon breath lands once more. BLG, they need a minute to survive this one as the buster shot. Knight still going on this one. As on escapes on the bottom side of the play. I can try to get onto this fight line. Bin must go huge if BLG want to survive this series. But he just walks away with his tail between his legs. NIP, the moon breath works out. Baron's on the cards. Shanji hunting for oh, Bin. Bin caught, can't teleport, and will burn on down. Oh, NIP, the combo lands again. Really does feel like NIP came in with uh, a lot of confidence even after that game one, and you can't blame them for, for it when they're playing it out like this. They have their Infinity Edge spikes on their carries. They're going to have themselves 
Ocean Soul and Baron to boot as well. They will start taking control, well and truly control of this game. They managed to catch out a really good engage with the Maokai ult, but you can see that there's already a cleanse coming through. They get the Jinx, but even with that, they don't have the stats to survive the Wombo just after this point. I think Knight, you know, he tries to find himself a great position in here, but the Wind Wall already kind of stops him from getting optimal damage. A hook afterwards from Draw. What a great game he's having this fresh again. BLG are not able to find the entrance or the follow-up to the fights that they really want. Moonbase Alpha strikes <laughs> again. The Moon Breath, the Equalizer, everything working out. That's for not them. a Moon. It's a Wombo combo. <laughs> this battle station is fully operational. Planet destruction here. Planet the Equalizer comes down. You just hear the haunt in the distance. Pa, 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 pa. <laughs> Wait, I was trying to do Hell Divers, but that was just the Avengers. <laughs> I, mean, I always do that. As, uh, Oh, I'm just caught out here. Oh, the Ignite not quite enough. Does dash out to safety, but Shun might not be so lucky. Aki only gets one with the Moonfall, and BLG are still alive. Aki caught the Wind Wall is so obnoxious, and Aki walks away with his life. He's got that Ocean Soul as well, so the sustain is there for NIP as they continue to search. But Bin, with the World Ender, wants to find Zhuo, gets the chains on with the knockup as well. The knockup only on to Bin here as I gets onto the back line. Keep your eyes on Elf, though, because Rookie has found him and Bin is alone. Fotic winning at the speed of light and NIP go even in the series. It's one store step for man, one giant Womo combo. Making a name for himself in the mid lane on this pick. He's just unstoppable with the Syndra in his hands. And, you know, we have been so blessed with our mid lane matchups. Game one, I didn't even mean mind seeing a classic mage versus mage in terms of the Orianna versus White. The second Eight game. non kind of standard stories like that. This one's a bit more of a standard story, though, against the mid lane and for BLG as well. So, kind of briefly back towards the game. The Herald used that. Um, and now, suddenly, when you're playing against the Lucian Army. Oh, Fridon's offside. Trying to get onto Knight here. The stun going to come on through. Unleash power, but it's Aki Tank in the tower. Knight goes down. First blood taken by NIP. But can they escape the tide away perfectly? as Aki tries to save his mid laner, sacrifices himself and trades. Almost a good turnaround play on the other side. Shanji maybe looking for a 1v1, oh. all that through the wall. Gorgeous Q3, pulls Bin back into the frame. Neither Shun and Knight are going for that one as Aki is in the top half. Okay, so NIP, it's not quite as bad on the objective scenario as it was in game one where they were well and truly shut out, but we're still getting to the point now where they have zero turrets. They're against um, two dragons, which is going to start um, a increasing as the game goes on. NIP need to show us that they can fight objectives from behind the game. They haven't showed us that so far. Knight going down towards the spot side to once again just control one of these waves and potentially cut off Shanji who is alone at the pass and he's going to be cut off by BLG. Stun will land, Shun moves in as well. There's not even a tower to run to. Shanji is going to do his best here, but Shun staying on the opposite side, so no all out window is there. Knight takes a good job. And actually, Shanji gets a flash out. My god. Yeah, Kasante is a champion, folks. This champion but. is. Um, it still doesn't allow them to get access to the camps. One of the big follow on effects of losing um, you know, most of the control of the map is that you lose all of your jungle camps with it. Bin is now going to start running towards Shanji and because the map is so open, the team can just take their leisurely time getting towards him and Shanji is probably on a one-way trip. Yeah, he uh, managed to find some Double kind of miracle last time. Bin does get the stun and Elk's here just to clean things up. Can he do it again? No, he can't. Elk survives quite happily on that one. He's getting close to a third item at this point. Didn't even need to use the flash for that one, so Shanji blows both summoners, and uh, yeah, or, I mean, they have the skies to send. They don't have themselves, you know, a gold lead, but they cannot let this dragon go down. They're in river first, so good start for them at least comparative to their other objective plays when behind. Unfortunately for them, Photic has to go catch that wave. Stun lands onto Rookie and immediately shun dives in. Rookie forced to flash as a wave denies the escape from Aki. Shanji already lost his summoners. And Aki sent packing by Shun. BLG, they make short work of NIP's comp. Ah, oh, lovely entrance into that fight by Knight and Shun. They pick up the first target, they force a flash out. And as soon as Rookie has to be flashing backwards, uh, you can't make those aggressive kind of fly-by play. They said they've got Mojo. This is a Mojo play right here. If nobody checks it, Aki oh is Oh my word, what an angle! Come on, is there and they fight Knight! The Mojo is strong, but Knight's still surviving! Meteor down is not enough. The zombie is a little late from Knight, but here we go. Bin comes into the top side and it's an absolute brawl on the rift. Bin 
keeps them away as Elf finishes off Rocky. They're coming across the team as Shun tanks on the front line. Shanji doing his best to get the team into the night. Nice. But the TP from night nice. is so deep. I can't believe he's gone from that. And I can't believe he's almost surviving as well. Finally falls, but it costs everyone. BLG, they take the mojo and they split it into pieces. Oh, Knights! They think that our NIP think that they have him in check. He puts them into check, mate, with one of the weirdest teleports I've seen in recent memory. It's Onaki for a one last attempt at a steal. He had an angle before, couldn't make it work. He has one last shot to try and make something of this. Mojo turns into Nojo for NIP. <laughs> Aki caught out and he might actually just die to bin here as well. A TP coming on through. That's going to be Rookie rejoining the play. And Aki will survive. It's a shutdown as well. That was 500 gold to the out and that Lucian. All so easily able to close the gap. Shun found. Maybe a chance of a pick. He's kind of tanky. Crescent Guard comes out. Can he get away with his life? Tidal Wave splits the team. Scatter of the Week comes on in. Shanji barely any HP in the coming flies across the team as well. NIP just about get out with their oh. lives, but they'll lose a tier two for it. What an insane Crescent Guard from Shun. That ultimate on Shin Sao stops so much of the follow up damage. And you know, NIP, that's the problem with trying to pick off the enemy jungler like that. He is just a temporary invincible frontline given the right situation nip because of that against six scrubs against the baron buff despite the fact that things started off well in regards to shutting down bin as the baron was taken they just fall apart across the rest of this baron's dragon's not going down that quickly but shanji won't be here to frontline just yet he's getting here quickly might just be a flip aki goes in looking for the 50 50 smite here dps stopped on the drake though but the smite's a little bit early. Shun grabs it as Bin starts the fight once again. Shanji burst out once again. That's twice now that Shanji's been almost 100 to 0 in the fight. And he doesn't have a third TP to work with. Now BLG pushing forwards. They've got that Martin Soul. It means they're so tanky. Elk happy oh, to nice. be on the front line. And Knight flashes for the stun. It's buffered, but the unleashed power won't be stopped. Shun steps on in as NIP desperate to escape. And BLG, they don't want to give them a split second. Elk moves mid to start taking objectives as the rest of BLG. They're like a collie and NIP a sheep. They're rounding them up, putting them into the pens, putting them into the death zone. Big ultimate coming down from Rookie. Bin is in a 2v1, and I think Fotic wins those, but Bin dashes away at the last second, gets away from the queue. Rookie trying to punish the croc, but he sacrificed his own life to make it happen. One for one there. Fotic desperate to finish this recall off. Can Shun find the W in time? They're in the pixel brush, and Fotic realizes he's not getting away from this one. Has to try and DPS it out, but Shun will find him, and the culling comes on through. Capital C on that culling from Elk. Go a two for the price of one as the kitty cat gets skinned alive with them as well. 12 to four and NIP, they want to join that coveted top three conversation. And their opponent today is BLG. It would be a way to enter it. Aki, he's been so good on the smites earlier in playoffs, but Shun has been so controlled. Into the pit he goes, but it's too little and it's too late. Stunned with the scout of the week, Colin comes through. And Aki just taken off of the table. BLG is on. Ooh. Flashes for a bubble. You know the confident when On's looking for those engages. Oh, man. Well, if it hits, it pretty much ends the game. You know what? I ain't going to criticize. Absolutely demolished. What side going to be similar? NIP, they have 10 seconds on their jungler, and they can't defend. Been TPing to the bot wave as well to protect it, so Fotic couldn't clear it, meaning that they get that second in here. Really smart TP, even though it wasn't long range. It's still a great TP from Bin. Two in hips taken onto these Nexus Towers. Fotic does get stunned by nine, but no follow up whatsoever. Playing the slow one here for BLG, but oh! it ain't slow anymore. It's slow until they find the moment and suddenly health bars vanish. BLG with an absolute masterclass in the third game, making it look similar to that first one of the series. NIP against the ropes. It's not the first time they have been in this playoffs, but they've got to make a miraculous comeback if they want to win here in round four of Spring 2024.
there. And a version of what Orn used to be. Hyper weak side, but becomes unreally tanky. This game might not be about straight 5v5s. It very much can be. I think this will be about who can pull the trigger most effectively <laughs> so, in the skirmishes. I think there's an important statistic that I need to bring to you. We always yeah. compliment players. It's be a bit their... difficult. So they are going to be safe from that for now. And the backs are stopping IP and he's used the E. Oh, Elk, this is your problem. Someone is available for Photic as Duo. Hex flashes towards Elk, gets the root onto on the hook, is there. Photic trying to set it up as Aki moves in. One last rocket in the flash for first blood on in no man's land. And NIP start with two. Such an important laning phase from Photic and Dwar. Elkin on, really quite uncharacteristic mistakes in them at the level one mark. Leaves them quite far behind. They fail themselves. We'll see the bottom side, but with on there and a control board in that brush. Not sure that's the fight they want. Dwo may have overstepped for this, honestly. Yeah. He's in tribrush right now. Photic is trying to help out his support. Dwo, uh, where are we? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Rookie has to try and bail the play out. Suddenly, On is the one in No Man's Land, but he uses Photic as a way to get to his team. Puts Photic into play. Twelve's going to go down. So is On. And Photic gets a reset. Shun has to try and escape from this one as Photic continues to fire away. Knight ults out of the play. I don't know how NIP went even on that. Oh, it's just been a, a, a huge amount of time bought by Draw. I'm mean, very happy as an ensemble unit from the early game. Shanji gonna go for Dominus up top here. Trying to get some damage down onto Bin. I'm not sure there's kill threat, but maybe I'm wrong there as he gets a couple more autos in. Bin looks for the Orn combo, gets the knockup. Doesn't get the knockup off of the Q though. And the Brittle flashed away from Shanji. Escaping with his life, but good combo from Bin there. Oh, on. on now has stepped way too far out of position. And just gives a free kill over. What is happening with Alcanon? Photo to control, they've Team. punished him. Uh, this series? Total opposite. We are seeing five and six grubs almost every game here. NIP, the benefactors this time around. And, um, yeah, I mean, the thing is, most of the time LPL was just saying, look, six grubs are too powerful to give over. And we can see now that, you know, Shanji is with the demolish with this. It's like, well, you can't quite get the demolish on the tower there. One of the problems against Orn is that you can actually stop the tower towers pretty effectively. Um, see right there, though. Oh, not to punch a little tower. bit. Orn Horn is available if Bin wants to go for it, and he will. Looking for that first knockup. That's going to be there. Brittle comes by Anari. In. The breath comes in to get the second Brittle, but Shanji spaces it. Knight moves over. The knockup is there, and the follow up is too easy. Charm for Rookie as well. Knight getting cheeky with it, saving that for a bonus follow up. Again, just more of Side that. Knight, maybe a chance for a pick. Shun's here as well. Where is, where is Bin? Where is Bin in this equation? Because if he's there, he can throw an ult into this too. This is why we're saying side laning. Very, very dangerous. He's showed himself on both sides. So he's not uh -oh. there to play himself. And Rookie's walked up. This is the problem. BLG, they have the side lane punish comp. Rookie's got to make the magic happen, but you can't do much against the flash ult from Shun. The combo is gorgeous, and that opens this map wide for BLG. Three kills, six stacks, and a continuation of an over 28 KDA on the... So Drake up in 15 seconds, NIP. They've got control in that bottom side. It feels like Bin gonna try and move in and clear some of that vision. It's quite difficult to face check in, but I mean, even at level 12, he's so one ult, Here we go. Combo wants to draw here and a TP immediately. There's all flushed away and it means Elk is caught out. On betrays his AD carry. And Elk goes down 30 second death timer. That's Drake for NIP. Oh, that's so unfortunate. If Elk, uh, if, if, I mean, if On gets hit, Elk survives and maybe they could have survived with On's ultimate, but that's not going to be the case. So NIP showcasing that while BLG might win through side lanes, the straight up 5v5s are much harder. The Nautilus and the Talia are very, very strong at denying different entries into the fight and finding that first pick. And BLG don't manage the execution of the approach. They're going to get punished. The problem is now, um, BLG would have loved to just cross map at that point. Just get themselves a, a push in and side lane. Can't really do that on bot side, I suppose. But they would have loved to get themselves something else. Right now, Photic's caught. Can the charm land? Yes, you believe it can. Knight finds himself yet another. That's four kills. That's eight dark seal stacks. And that is BLG's hope in this series. On is caught once again, having a terrible game on the Alistair as Elk tries to save his support. On dodges away from the rocks. Draw has to follow and Rookie flashes to finish the kill. Now Shun gets into the action. It's a minion wave blocking these skill shots. Knight has that charm available. Needs to find ben. the angle. Horn, horn sounds. Charms followed up. Draw flashes just before the CC lands. Oh my gosh, that could have been a really dangerous point because you have an Orn, you can... Skill shots onto this mobile box in the mid lane as well. You press that W, you go up to about, you know, 
50% movement speed for a short burst of speed. Now we see Uncle out again! He does find a knock-up aftershock there, but I mean he just goes down and he's just feeding gold into Photic at this point. That's his second kill of the game. Getting close to a second item there. Really carry roll. A little bit behind the curve there compared to Elk in terms of items, but even still he'll be happy with that. And a tier one goes down again on. Oh, Knight just G picks up the upgraded malignants. So BLG. In River first here, Juo confident though to just walk on in and clear some of this vision. Shun starts the Drake off, BLG on the bot side of the play, NIP trying to contest. Okay, Bin trying to hold the door shut, he can press W into the first Nautilus hook and indeed he does. That's the power of this Ornn, actually a front line compared to other champions and we might come through into a flip. Shanji has flash on the flank and here comes the wall. Wall comes through, it's a 50-50 on the spike and it's taken by Elk and the fight might be two. First kill already and Elk stacking away. Knight dives in on the Ari to find a little bit more. Caught by a zap though, his draw forced away on the top side. Elk getting one is plenty for BLG. That it is. So that's going to be one kill, one dragon, and NIP not to. So yep. benefit, benefiting from both of these carries now. And it's like you said before, on maybe behind in the game, it's still level six, Damn. Alistair, and this time it's Dwarf caught out. On sets up for the follow up there. The stun comes in. Can they actually finish the kill though? He's tagging one last jar. Will do the trick. Flick back from uh, Rocky rookie. onto his opposite member, but Knight gets out with his life. So that's 14 stacks now. Again, you get 5 AP per stack, so on top of the regular 20 on top of it, that's 70 AP. It's a very cheap item. Knight, if he goes towards that um, death cap as the next item, the full item of Medra is... ...to the potential death cap there. That is a terrifying pick. Knight, like you say, picking up Rookie's skin to take this match up and looking phenomenal so far in this game. Trying to clear the wave here. Shun moves in to try and protect as well. Rookie does not get caught. And the wave will be cleared. Knight oh, he gets it! Last second on the rocks! And Rookie turns golden, but I don't think he can survive this one. It's Zeri to get the kill as Elk starts it off. And BLG, they've never won from a deficit this split, but they are making it. Oh, Shun! The Orn Horn on top of Shun's engage. Immaculate gameplay in the mid lane, in the mid game. And now onto the Baron. Why did they give Knights Ari? That'll be the question which NIP will be asking after this game. A full stacked death note in the infantry. And Rookie's the one that fills the last page. Ultimate Shun on, looking to help him set up for that as well. Smashing through these turrets of the Baron. And guess what? They may have been behind before, but they know how to play with the lead, and they have that lead. It's 5,000 in their favor. With Baron on top, the horn horn sounds, and Rookie doesn't have a flash this time around. He doesn't even get to move. In fact, he did a flash up, but he didn't get to use it in time to flash up from Bin. Too damn clean. And I think that phrase represents this entire team this year. They lose one in the best of fives, but they are knocking on the doors of the Nexus. Two cannons. He's set. got his own, uh, uh, that parasite in the top side as well. The dash out and lock it too. BLG just continually getting more stats on the board. Yeah, weird to see the AD carry, the only one not with an upgrade. Oh. A flash in from Shanchi, but I don't think he's got the damage. And nobody there to follow it up. Aki just clearing the wave as this goes on. And Knight now try. Wait, Elk just dives into three. And in the meantime, Draw's caught out. How does nobody punish Elk for that? 1v3, he dives forward, and he's still on half his HP. No, he's not, because Fotik just autos him. Elk with a massive misstep, and now they dive under the tower. Who cares if you've got no AD carry? Rookie is going to try and survive here. Knight charging forwards again. Rookie versus the world here in the mid lane. Bin's behind him as Shun dashes forward once more. The knockback is there. Aki has a bit of. I mean, Bin's just invincible. Who can kill him? Who can He's kill been him? He's for like 10 minutes straight. Bin's still got half his HP. Rookie now turns golden. Flash still there, but it's not going to come through. Another double. 11, 0, and 5. Knight has taken over against one of the best mid laners in the world. Knight gets his signature, Ari, and. He dominates NIP. He makes them rue the day they ever made it to double elimination. BLG, your first seed. Knight, your spring split MVP, will go three and one against NIP. What domination. BLG, they dropped a game against NIP, but they remind us very, very swiftly why they are the best team. See the uh, side.
These were some of the best highlights from the LPL 2024 Spring Playoffs matchup between BLG and NIP. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.